Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this week, we'll continue our discussion on AI chatbots. This week, I'll talk about what should you keep in mind for developing an AI chatbot. So, chatbot works well when the domain is well understood by the AI system. As the AI chatbot relies on NLP to understand the semantics of the input message, unless the NLP parser is trained on the domain, the accuracy of recognizing the intent and topics of interest would be very low or not as per the acceptable criteria. Take an example of a shopping chatbot which advises user on what to buy based on the latest fashion trends. Consider three set of queries from the user. The first query is show me medium size trending black and white dresses for Christmas party. The second query is show me white color 3 inches platform heels. And the third query being find and black and white formal dress under 2000. So here the chatbot needs to understand the following. First, understand this shopping language, understand the intent, in this case it's a shopping query, understand the domain, it's a shopping query for apples and shoes, and there can be multiple domains like grocery, electronics, books, and so on. And finally, understand the clothing shopping category and terminology. In this case, the category is dress, sandals. The variants are sizes, can be medium, large, color, it can be various colors or combination of colors like black and white, shoe sizes like 3 inch heels and so on, prices and ranges, in this case it's 2000 bucks, and brands like Nike and, and so on. So out of the box, any chatbot implementation would not understand the domain. You need to train the chatbot on the custom domain to recognize the context and the language. For instance, out of the box NLP passes would not recognize AND as a brand. So let's look at how well some of the leading cloud NLP services recognize the sentence find AND black and white floral dress under 2000. So here is how what's in NLP out of the box implementation recognizes the query. As you see, the Watson NLP recognizes white floral dress as keywords and black as a concept. Ideally, it should have recognized black and white as a concept as we are looking for a combination of these colors. The dress could also be a concept as it is quite generic. The floral can be a keyword which has a dependency on dress. Identify all the facts in the right way is extremely important as based on the facts you would convert this into a search query to get the required details from your data store. For instance, the above query should result as color as black and white, category as dress, gender as female, price less than 2000, pattern as floral or as a keyword within the category where color, category, gender, price, pattern can be all columns or indexes you are searching against. The Watson NLP parser doesn't recognize this AND as a brand and recognizes AND as a conjunction in the part of speech which is as expected as it is not trained on it. So let's look at how does Google NLP classifies the same sentence. As you see, Google NLP identifies the entity as dress, but doesn't identify the colors black and white. With respect to part of speech tagging, it is similar to Watson NLP, recognizing AND as a conjunction and not as a brand. The above example looks quite simple, but it is true for any available NLP implementation that is available today where it fails to understand all the correct context of the sentence. Even if we train the NLP implementation on all these examples, 
it will still fall short as you need to plug in specific NLP rules for such conditions to get the desired results. As the complexity and context that needs to be inferred increases, training also would not help as you would never come up with a generalized model for such conditions. This is the single most limitations if we rely on today's generations of NLP implementation. Now based on my experience on building a sophisticated shopping personalized advisor, none of the out of the box AI NLP implementation fitted the requirement. For instance, take these three set of sentences, black and white dress and black dress and blue jeans and white shirt. In all the three examples, the use of word and means different meaning. In the first case, and represents a combined color, black and white. In second instance, and represents a brand. And in third instance, the two queries are joined by a conjunction. Even with the required training, creating a generalized model was not possible with any of the available solutions. These are just one of the many examples. Imagine the complexity when dealing with medical literature when a doctor is advising cancer treatments based on a symptom provided in a natural language. In our case, we implemented a hybrid approach where we ended up building a domain specific NLP implementation which worked for all such scenarios. So in general, the advice is while designing chatbot application Start with a closed domain and what kind of questions the chatbot need to answer. Don't start building a general purpose chatbot from the start as it would be very difficult to understand the intent and get the required level of accuracy. Secondly, if you are using any cloud vendor or third party implementation, ensure your use cases can be simply solved by the default implementation or you need to build custom components to work around it. So this completes our this week's episode. In next week's episode, we'll talk about typical use cases and the high level steps for building an AI chatbot. Hope you found the information useful. Stay tuned for next week's episode. Till then, have a great week and happy learning.